I am Jason with Learning with Cisco, and we have Kyle Winters here for Technical Advocate. We're doing a little game of this or that. Kyle, multi-factor authentication or single sign-on? For me, it's got to be MFA. Um, you got to make sure that you're doing that two-level verification, at least. Otherwise, it's very easy to compromise credentials. Yep, especially on those important accounts. Yes. Zero trust or traditional perimeter security? Zero trust for sure. Uh, you got to have a good zero trust solution. Um, you got to make sure that not only defending against outside threats, but inside threats, things that are coming inside of your network and turning on as well too. Penetration testing or vulnerability scanning? For me, I really enjoy the red team stuff, so I'm going to go with penetration testing. Excellent. Manual threat hunting or automated threat detection? I mean, in today's day and age, there's so many different things happening so quickly, you got to have an automated threat detection, threat response approach. Excellent. Red team or blue team exercises? I'm going to have to say purple team. you got to do both, <laughs> a little bit of both. Go in that third option. Incident response or threat intelligence? I really enjoy threat intel. Um, you can be a bit more, you got to be have both, but I like threat intel because you can be a bit more proactive, in my opinion, with it. Proactive is always good. Be ahead. Security awareness training or technical hardening? You got to have security awareness training. I mean, in any organization, the biggest vulnerability is people. So you got to have them trained when it comes to security. For sure. MITRE attack framework or NIST cybersecurity framework? I love the MITRE attack framework. It's very cool mapping out kind of the different tactics and techniques that different attacks are using. So MITRE attack framework for me. Excellent. Thanks for joining us for another episode of This or That.